Now I am going to explain about Parts Palette and Edit Palette. This is Parts Palette and it stores body parts. It's like a layer folder to stock components assigned to each body part. Click this I button to show or hide parts and lock button to lock or unlock. Click here to show and hide all and here to lock and unlock all. The inside of each body part is like this. Deformers are under deformer and drawable objects are under drawable object. You can also select, lock and hide each component inside each body part. If you go to part settings and a setting window pops up, you can create new, edit or duplicate body parts. To create a new body part, make sure to assign a unique part ID of its own. In this chart, parts are placed in the draw order or rendering order. To change the draw order, change values here and draw order of each part links to this value. If you want to learn more about the uh, draw order, check out the video about the draw order. If you select a guide image parts, that part becomes part of a guide image and will not be actually rendered. With tool color, you can sort parts by color in parts palette. The color here will change accordingly. In the edit palette, you can configure settings of each component, like which body part that each object belongs to, or which parent deformer that each deformer goes under. You can also change the draw order or the opacity percentage of objects. Option button is not used for basic operations, so I will not go farther about it.